Hi there, it's Carrie from the Writing Center. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a title page in APA 7 using Word 365. So the online version of Word, because it's a little bit different than using Word in the desktop app. To get started, the first step that I would recommend is inserting page numbering. APA does require that we have page numbering in our projects, so best to just insert that right away. To insert page numbering, we're gonna just go up in the menu bar and we're gonna click on the tab for insert. And then you can see about two thirds of the way over to the right, we have this drop down for page numbers. And APA does require that we place the page number in the upper right hand Corner. So I'm going to choose this option that says upper right side of the header. And then I know it's a little bit confusing because you see this kind of weird bracketed um, number sign and there's no actual number. That's just a placeholder. Your number will be placed there. So I'm going to go ahead and click to get out of the header. It's also a little bit confusing in 365 because in the edit version, the number doesn't show up. But if I go and click on the editing menu and I choose viewing, this is what my document will look like to a reader. And you can see my number is there. So if you insert page numbering and you don't see it in there, don't panic. It is there. So I'm going to go back to my editing mode. And again, before I start adding information to my title page, I'm going to do a couple of quick um, formatting settings. So the first thing I'm gonna do is deal with my font and my font size. I like to use Times New Roman. APA does allow us to use a few different fonts. I know that Times New Roman is acceptable, so that's the one I always use. And we always need to change our font setting to font size 12. Uh, Word defaults to 11, but APA requires 12, so we wanna save, change that. Um, another change that we want to make is we want to go click on the three dots on the far right for more options, and we want to go to line spacing and set this at two. APA requires that the entire project be double spaced. And then the final formatting change that I want to make is our title page is going to be centered. All of the information on it other than the page numbering is going to be centered. So I want to go up here to my text alignment box and click the drop down. And I want to choose where it says align center and then Word is going to center my type for me. Once I have my formatting in place, then I can go ahead and start adding my information. Before I type anything, I'm going to enter down three times. The first piece of information in our title page is the title of our project and APA says that appears about a fourth of the way down the page, they recommend hitting enter three times on double spacing. So once I get on that third line, before I start typing my title, I'm gonna change to bold font. The title is the only thing that is in bold on the title page. Your title, sometimes your title might be given to you you know, your instructor might say, this is an annotated bibliography. And so that is your title. Other times your title will be up to you. And so you will create a title that reflects maybe the topic of your project or the type of project. Once you've typed your title, we're gonna turn bold font off because as I said, the title is the only thing that is in bold. And I'm gonna hit enter twice. Uh, APA puts one blank line of space between the title and the next piece of information. Under the title, the next line of information contains your name. So as the author, you'll type your first and last name. Then we'll hit enter. And the next line contains what's called affiliation. And this is going to be the department and the university that you are affiliated with. So we would type the department name and then we would type our school name. And the department could be anything from Department of Human Services, uh, Radiography Department, um, Department of Public Safety, 
whatever department your program is affiliated with. The next line down, you are going to type the course number and then a colon and the course name. So you can find that on Blackboard. On the fourth line, you're gonna type out your instructor's name. So first and last name, kind of um, half joking here, but make sure you spell your instructor's name correctly. And then lastly, we're gonna add the due date. So, and the date is just written, you type out the month, put the numeral for the date, comma, and then the year. So today would be August 3rd, comma, 2023. Actually, you don't need the RD. Um, and it's the due date of the assignment. So it's not the, the date that you are creating the title page. You put the date in that you will actually submit your final draft. Once I have all the information on my title page, I can kind of enter down and you can see exactly how this will look. And then to prepare for beginning the rest of my project, I'd recommend that you enter down to the second page and then go ahead and go back to left justification for your alignment. And you will be all ready to go with um, the next step of your project, whatever that might be. And again, just to kind of show you what this will look like, if I go back to the viewing mode, you can get a nice visual of what the title page will look like, and you can see that the numbering is counting up on my second page. One last tip I'll share with you is if you need further information or you want to see another example, you can always go to the APA website. And if you go to the website and type in student title page, it will bring you up to a page that has very similar information to what I just shared with you, a sample title page with everything labeled. So that's another resource you can use when you have to create a title page. I hope that this information was helpful and you feel confident making your title page now. Please don't hesitate to reach out to the Writing Center if there's anything that we can help with.